Alan? No, Pam! Oh, the kids' video. Speaking of Pam, I can't film like this. Who can I call? you guys well done everyone it's really nice to be able to help out a friend speaking of friends do you have a best friend well my best friend is Jesus and we're going to sing a song about how Jesus is our best friend and he's better than anyone even superheroes let's sing together
clap your hands and wave your arms. Play the drums and then rock the guitar. How to play Coat Bridge. What you need: tape, scissors, two coats, or if you want to keep your coats virus and dirt free, why not make your own coat out of paper? Mark where you need to start. Walk 15 steps. Using the coats only, try and get from one marker to the next as fast as you can. Fastest player wins. Can you do it that fast? Try it. My name is Uncle Sandy and you're watching Cross Culture News. A king was reported to enter Jerusalem yesterday and a crowd formed a parade for this king. We have our correspondent, Auntie Maria, reporting live straight from Jerusalem. Over to you, Maria. Yes, thank you, Uncle Sandy. Jerusalem is always busy at this time of the year with Passover approaching. However, something unusual happened yesterday. Now we have a few people here that we're going to interview to find out what happened yesterday. I was, I was there, yeah, yesterday, yeah. I was here to look at the temple to take lots of pictures, yeah. But carrying palm branches, palm branches, and then, and then there's someone walking into, no, 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 walking. Oh, don donkey, donkey. Someone on a donkey going into the city. So many people. I'm confused. I don't know what's happening, but. Well, Jesus told me to get the donkey, and he said, there's gotta be God, he says. Wait, what are you doing with that donkey? So I went to get the donkey, yeah? And then this guy came up to me and said, What are you doing with that donkey? And I said, Well, the Lord needs it. And well, I suppose it's for the Passover. But lately he's been talking about how he's gonna die and rise on the third day. I don't know what he meant by that. It's really most peculiar. We've been hearing about this Jesus. He's that super dude with and he's super kind and has superpowers. If anyone were to save us from anything, it would be King Jesus. Why would you say that he's a king? You need to read your scriptures. God is promising us a king for the reign of David, and I'm a thousand percent sure it is Jesus. How do you think he's going to do that? I don't know. The scene was chaotic. Everyone was shouting out, Hosanna, Hosanna! And I told Jesus to make them be quiet. And you know what he said? He said, if they don't praise me, the rocks will praise me. Who does he think he is? The God? It seems that many believe Jesus to be king. They expect Jesus to save them from the Roman government. Hosanna! But we have no evidence Hosanna! of an army hey, or weapons. Hosanna! As to how he is going to establish his kingdom, that we do not yet know. This is Maria reporting live from Jerusalem. Back to you, Uncle Sandy. Well, that's all the news we have today. Stay safe, wash your hands, read your Bible. People welcomed Jesus to Jerusalem as their king. 
Even so, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem, he knew he was heading for the cross. Here, he would die the death that we deserved. But on the third day, he would rise and defeat death. When we trust in Jesus, we are forgiven and God promises us eternal life with him. Thanks for watching everyone. Sarah Stokes will now say a prayer for us. After the prayer, a craft will pop up on the screen. Bye for now. Hi kids, it's Sarah from Little Lands. I'm gonna lead us in prayer. Please repeat after me. Dear God, only you can save. Thank you for coming into the world to rescue us from sin and defeat death. You love us so much. Help us to obey you out of love and bring glory to you. We love you. Amen. See you next week.